again, welcome to Power Kings today. We meet every Saturday to study the Word of God together. Thank you always for listening, learning, and putting the Word of God in your hearts. We said, and this I remind all of you every day, the Word of God is true and it is it. The Bible is very powerful when we take it in our hearts. It will protect us and walk with us. Welcome once again, our dear parents. Thank you for being with us. We are going to pray to continue with our topic about humility, where we surrender everything to God. All that he has done to us good things, we give him all the glory. We surrender, we tell God, thank you. Can we pray? When we want to pray, we put our hands together. We close our eyes and then we pray. Thank you, Father, for the boys and the girls and our dear parents. And it is position you have given to us that we may learn about you, about the Bible stories, what you are saying up to us, our hearts and our families, our society. Thank you because you are going to teach us to know more about you, to love you and to obey your word. This is prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, welcome. We continue with our episode on humility. Remember, it comes from the book of James, chapter number 4, verse 10. And our memory verse, if you can remember, even without reading, and we will confirm with the word of God. Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will exhort you. And we agreed last Saturday, humbleness or humility is to accept that before the Lord, Whatever we have is God who have done it. It's not us, boys and girls, not our parents, but there is God who is above us, who has given us everything, who has given us our toys that we are playing with, who has given us good house where we can sleep, but the good schools where we are going to learn every day. When you go to school and you are going uh, to a big school, you don't, we, we don't come and start uh, joining them that are just going uh, to school next to our houses, other than going just uh, near by their home. You know, the schools maybe that, where, uh, that they are in still is God who has given them opportunity to be in those schools. We learned about Nebuchadnezzar who became so proud, arrogant last Sunday. He started beating himself like he has built so big house. He has done so many good things. Now I majesty. He take the glory rather than blessing the name of the Lord of what he has done. And God made him a hundred seven good years. Today we are going to learn about someone else, a soul. And also a soul. Saul was a king of Israel. Saul was a king of Israel. God appointed him and he became a king to the children of Israel. And when we read 1 Samuel chapter number 15, we are going to get all this story. Allow me to tell you this story, my dear boys and the girls, rather than reading. But when you, we have time, we can read and go through this story of Saul. So when God made him a king, he gave everything, but he sent him to fight with his enemies, Amalekites. He was told by God, and this is the old teachers about obedience. He was told by God, when you go to fight Amalekites, destroy all of them and everything that they have, cows, goats, everything, destroy their ships don't carry anything with yourself back to the Israel. But when King Saul went, God gave him victory. When he was fighting Amalekite, he fought them and he, like, uh, they, they, they ran away from him. But he did a big mistake when we read the Bible. He went picking good things like good animals, gold, silver, keeping them for himself, gold. And God was very annoyed. The way he was very annoyed 
by King Nebuchadnezzar. Even this time he became so annoyed with the king. So he is like, King Saul, I told you to destroy all the people, but now you have taken some of these and kept them for yourself. I will now remove you from the kingship. I, you are not the king anymore. And God told Samuel, the prophet, the anointing prophet, go anoint King David for me. The Bible says Samuel continued to pray for King Saul. And God said to King, to Samuel, prophet Samuel, I have rejected King Saul from my king from leading my people. I'm going to remove him from the kingship. Now go anoint David for me. Boys and the girls, what are we learning today and even last Sunday? Humility. God has blessed us. We are not going to be proud. We are not going to be arrogant. And we are not going to disobey the word of God. He are now king. So disobeyed the word of God. And God to told Samuel, now go anoint another king for me. Now if we become proud like boys and girls before the Lord that we forget to give God glory and pray, he is going to take something that he has blessed us with. Like if you are praying for wisdom, you start not appreciating God who has given you wisdom. He will take that wisdom away from you. If you have money to go and buy nice clothes that you don't understand is God you have given, you disobey God, he will take away that. Sometimes God, when we don't obey his word, word when we don't listen to what the Bible says, we do also God get annoyed. You know, sometimes also as boys and girls, we get annoyed. Especially when mommy promises to bring us something and it does, she does not bring. We get so much annoyed that like mommy I will not talk to you again. Even God, he says we read his word, we know it and we said knowing is putting it in our mind. We love him by putting that word, word of God in our heart. And we obey by doing what the word of God says we do. We become humble by accepting other children in school that they come in be with their dresses or something that is torn. We be kind to them. We don't insult them or tell them bad things that will make them annoyed. So that when we know that we appreciate this God who has given us what we have, we are going to be blessed. We are going to grow good boys and the girls in the house of God. We will keep appreciating whatever we have comes from God. I tell you, God is going to bless us with our parents. Every day we will be praying. Every day we will appreciate the doing us of the Lord. That way you remember the song that you usually sing. Rinduam Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, if you want to grow, read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow, we can grow by praying, reading the word of God, becoming humble. Remember our memory verse. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. We need to start learning and practicing that is God who has given us good Bibles, the good yeah, the Bible story. You see when Dandy buys for you a big good Bible story, book, you are like, this is God you have enabled my dad to buy for me. When Dandy brings oh, a bicycle, appreciate it is God you have blessed our daddy so that to be able to buy for us bicycle. When our father or our daddies take us out and our mom we appreciate this God who has given um, them money to take us out. We don't come and tell others, you, you are not taken to out even a single day, but me and my parents, we are from out. That will be 
looking like King, King Nebuchadnezzar and the King Saul because they did not appreciate as God you have done it. Here also they, we will not be obeying the word of God that tells us we obey him. Those people, they were rejected by God because they did not do what the word of God tells them to do. Today, we are learning to obey. To be humble and obey God because when you be humble, you'll be able to obey what the word of God tells you to do. We will not insult others. We are not going to be like, hey, where will you pelekwa mpaka? You see the way we do it. But now we are going to be loving, kind. You remember the fruit of the Holy Spirit? We are going to love all of them, even as we continue learning about humility. When you are, you, you are humble, you surrender to God. And you allow God to rule our lives. Thank you, Father, for the session that you have allowed us to learn about you. Even still reminding us there are people in the Bible re you rejected. And we have to be humble that we do what you have commanded us to do. King Nebuchadnezzar did not humble. You rejected him and you made him to be an animal for seven years. King Saul did not obey you. Father Lord, not, Jehovah, to de not to destroy all people. He kept even some of the things for himself. Father, they forgot to, for to obey you and do what your word said they do. You rejected them and you moved them away from your presence and even you told the, your servant Saul to anoint another king for you. For us, our children, we are not going to be rejected by you. We pray the spirit of humility, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of uh, to be prayerful, the spirit of reading your word that you will be guided by your word as we grow. We pray this prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you boys and girls. See you next time as we continue to stand the word of God together. I love you. God loves you more. Eh? Have a blessed day. Bye.